I'm going on a walk soon. It's a long walk. Actually, it's a very, very long walk. About 3,000 kilometers and is known as a through hike. And this will be my very first through hike. Te Araroa is considered by some as one of the toughest through hikes in the world due to its varied terrain and the weather that you're likely to encounter along the way. Added to that are several hundred river crossings, lots of mud, days between resupply points, the longest being eight or nine days, numerous mountain passes, sand flies, wasps, miles of road walking, poorly maintained tracks, and yes, I could go on. So why? Why would I leave a perfectly comfortable lifestyle to endure all of that? Why when there's easier through hikes in other countries? What has motivated me to seek out the unknown when the known is available to challenge myself in this way? It's been quoted elsewhere that success or otherwise of an ultra endurance challenge is 80% mental with the remaining 20% shared between fitness, finance and the weather. Three of those four variables are within my control and are where I need to focus as part of my preparation for the trip. While it's fun to visualise the final day, walking up to the sign at Bluff, taking the obligatory group photos and celebrating after with my new trail family, that's not enough to get me through four months of challenges. If the finish line is my only focus point, I'll not only miss the journey, after a day or two of basking in the finishes high, there'll be nothing left but an emptiness and the what next feeling. Which brings me back to why am I doing this? The why which will carry me through when the mud is knee deep, the rain is horizontal or the sand flies are incessant. In response to my big announcement video, when I told the world at large of my plans to walk Te Araroa, I've received wonderful messages of encouragement, support and people saying I've inspired them. The thing is, I'm actually just like you. I'm not one of those other kind of people who do big scary things. I'm just me. However, I have a passion which burns brighter than my fears. I want to inspire everyone to spend more time in nature and believe that if we can't see someone that we can relate to, we can't imagine doing those things ourselves. Those big goals seem and remain unachievable for us. I'm not a through hiker yet. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning as I go along, learning what I really need. I don't know what's around the next corner, none of us do. I'll not know what my limitations are until I encounter them on the trail. That'll be interesting. That's when my mental, physical and emotional resilience will be tested and I'll be digging deep, relying on past experiences, my innate mental fortitude and my intrinsic motivation, which is you. Those of you who are following along in my walk and finding the strength within themselves to take on their own big, scary challenges. I've still so many questions to be answered, but I've taken the first step and I'm hoping you will be part of the journey. If you know something, let me know, leave a comment and together we'll all learn. We can support each other and do big, scary things together. I'll be posting daily vlogs from the trail on all my social media channels. Just look for Freewheeling Kiwi. All the links are in the description below and on my webpage, freewheelingkiwi.com, where you can also sign up for my newsletter. I'd love to meet as many of you as possible along the way, but as my daily vlogs will be scheduled, please direct message me ahead of time or you may find I've already passed through your neighbourhood. If you'd like to support my work further, please consider becoming a patron. For a small monthly contribution, equal to buying me a cup of tea or even a meal, you'll be able to access loads of behind the scenes stuff and my patron support really does help keep the free willing kiwi machine going. You tell me you're scared You tell me you're you think And I know it's hard Yeah, I know it's rough But we'll make it through And I'll back you up
Today was just a hike. Nothing epic happened, just time and the beautiful outdoors and importantly, time to reflect on my motivations to walk Te Araroa. Can this be a YouTube movie? Well apparently yes, because it's just real, regular life. We can choose to live now, or we can choose to live later. I'm choosing now. I hope you are also.